you've ever been fortunate enough to travel to Europe and been to ancient cathedrals there, some of the cathedrals have on their floor what looks like a maze. There are even some churches here in the, in the United States who have cathedral floors such as this, or outdoor maze-looking things. But really, if you look at them more closely, they are not mazes at all, for a maze has many paths, and these, these cathedral floors have one path. That's because they're what's called a labyrinth. A labyrinth is an ancient prayer method that uses the physical act of walking to draw us into a closer relationship with God. My name is Eric Hooka, and I'm the pastor at Avery United Methodist Church here in Washington, PA. And I'm standing right now behind the Cameron Wellness Center on the walking path that leads beyond the parking lot. And if you travel just a little bit away up that path, just about a tenth of a mile, you will find this prayer labyrinth behind me. It is a wonderfully serene setting, which I have come to occasionally in my time living here in Washington, to be able to walk what is called a prayer labyrinth. Now, how does a prayer labyrinth work? A prayer labyrinth is a single, path, and it leads directly to the center, and in the center, we are, are invited into a moment of rest and prayer and pausing. One of the things I love about prayer labyrinths is that it gets me moving. I tend to, to feel most attentive to God when I'm physically moving, whether I'm running or walking or hiking. And so a prayer labyrinth is a wonderful tool that I like to use. Now when you come upon a labyrinth such as this one, you will be able to walk through one path and you will find that much like life and much like our life of faith, the journey has many twists and turns. And if God is present at the center, we will find that the path gets us very close to the center, but not quite in the center. And then the very next moment, we will feel as if we are on the outer edges of the labyrinth itself. To me, this symbolizes the way that some moments in life, we feel as if we are so close to God, as we could almost reach out and touch God, that we're almost completely centered in God. And then at the very next moment, a day or a week later, or maybe even the next hour, we feel so far away from God. We feel as if we almost can't even see God. The other thing that I love about labyrinths is that because it has so many tight turns, it's not something that you can walk fast. Especially this one, it's a very narrow one. And, and I like that because you cannot walk it quickly. I'm a fast walker, and those who have walked with me know that uh, I tend to walk very fast if I'm walking along a, a street uh, sidewalk or uh, walking from one place to another. I'm a quick hiker as well. And sometimes I need to be told to slow down, and that's true in my life as well. I tend to be a busybody. I want to always be doing things, but sometimes I need to slow down and pause and breathe more deeply. And it's only when I slow down that I can really fully sense the presence of the Lord. Prayer labyrinths have a way of forcing me, quite literally, to slow down. I find that as I walk through that prayer labyrinth, contemplating the peace of Christ, that my breath gets slower and more measured, my pace of walking becomes slower, and I'm being more attentive to each and every step that I take, rather than rushing towards the destination. Of course, when I get to the center, often I will kneel for a moment of prayer and gratitude to God. As I begin my journey out on that same path that led me into the center, I come to understand that God has drawn me in slowed me down enough to make me aware of God's presence more fully. But God does not wish for me to rest in the presence of the Lord forever. 
God desires to push me out, to challenge me to head back out into the world, to, to take a journey out towards those who haven't yet found the labyrinth. So that's why I've made this video for you, to help you understand prayer labyrinths a little bit more. I invite you to come and check this out on your own when the weather is good enough to do so. It is here and it is open for use behind the Wellness Center, the Cameron Wellness Center here in Washington. And I pray that, that you may discover what I have found to be a wonderfully holy, sacred experience of walking in prayer labyrinth.